but I don't know, man. He's flexing. He's flexing a little. Today we are doing a little food pop. Uh, excuse me, food plot planting. Uh, say that five times fast. Anyhow, my brother came over with his tractor and he was going to drop off his corn planter so that I could use it on my tractor. Unfortunately, between the last couple years, he got rid of his two row planter and bought a five row planter. So the added weight of that is a little too much for my machine to be able to handle. Uh, my three point hitch would pick it up off the ground, but just barely. So he offered to go ahead and plant this for us. And as you've seen in that first video clip, the bridge, my timber bridge over there that I intend to replace this year, uh, we got the front end of his tractor on there and it started to flex a little bit more than I'm comfortable with. So uh, we just selected to go ahead and abort that mission. We don't want to end up with a piece of equipment in the ditch. Uh, so uh, we're going to plant this small field here and that field over there, I'll probably end up either doing something different over there, not corn, or just planting it by hand. I've planted corn by hand before too, so uh, just kind of broadcast it out there. But anyway, uh, we'll get a little bit of shots of him planting this, and I hope you enjoy this video. So we're actually using the outside two boxes and the center box for this because we want the row spacing to be wide enough that the corn can get large and thrive. Uh, in this case, we probably could have used the inside boxes since this is just for the purpose of wildlife. But that being said, he already had it set up this way and rather than mess around with it, we thought we'd just kind of go with it. But pretty slick setup. You can see his machine there is quite a bit bigger than mine. It's along the lines of a 50 or 55 horse machine. Uh, quite a bit bigger. Loaded rear tires and the cab obviously makes it a quite large piece of equipment for what we're doing around here. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but I put a set of bee boxes over here to try to attract some honeybees this year and the darn raccoons got into it. So, probably have to abort that mission also. Take my boxes that are still in good shape, take those back up to the house and put new frames in them and try to sit them out somewhere else. So, like I said earlier, my brother's tractor, uh, I was a little nervous to have it cross this timber bridge of ours here, so I am ending up planting this field of corn by hand, and we're using a seed corn. I'm not sure what's all in it, but it's going to have some sort of a insecticide or something on it to keep the, the critters from munching on it until it starts to germinate, which is why I'm wearing this rubber glove. But basically all we're doing is I'm filling this bucket up and I'm walking across the field. Parallel. Pacing off my steps and kind of watching. I try to go perfectly straight and then I pace over a certain number of steps 
and go parallel with that line, pace over. And all I'm doing is taking a small handful and I'm throwing it in a way that I'm spreading the seed out where they're eight to 10 inches apart. So it doesn't take a lot of seed to uh, seed a field like this. At the end, what I'll do is I'll take one pail and I'll just kind of go, so my, my zigzag pattern is this way. I'll make a, a wide zigzag pattern that would go perpendicular to them and really chuck it far. So if I missed any areas, at least they get some spotty seed in them. Uh, but I've, I've seeded fields like this with wheat and with beans before. And I shouldn't call them fields, this, it's a food plot. So this plot here, I would say is probably less than half an acre, uh, which makes it a little bit easier to do by hand. So anyway, that's probably gonna conclude this video. Uh, there'll be some more clips here of me seeding and then at the end of that, that'll, uh, that'll probably conclude this video. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate it if you're a subscriber. And if you're not a subscriber and you like the content that we have on our channel, please take the time to click the subscribe button and share these videos with people that you think might be interested. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one. I set a foot track for the last one that goes straight across there. So I'm going to go over the belt right here. And I'm just going to miss the edge of this jump pile. All right, guys, so what my dad forgot to mention was that he's going to go over all the entire field with a rototiller about two inches deep just to get a little bit of soil on top of the seeds so they'll grow. If you hear behind me, he's doing it right now, right, there's a finger there. So I'll get some footage of that, and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. He's going pretty fast uh, compared to what you usually go because he's not actually digging the dirt. He's just rotating it a little bit to get some soil on top of it. That's what they look like right now. And once they get some soil on top of them, you shouldn't be able to see them.